y'all, it's Megan. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome aboard. So since this weekend is Easter, if you celebrate, um, a lot of people might be decorating some Easter eggs, going on some Easter egg hunts, doing lots of fun things with Easter eggs. And so what I wanted to do is something that my mom always did with me when we were growing up. And you can see right there, we've got a little, little something going on there. Um, my family is not Ukrainian, but we always made Ukrainian Easter eggs growing up. My mom, that was one of the things that she did. She's a very crafty person and she learned how to make pisanki, um, and that is the Ukrainian Easter eggs. And to support our friends in the Ukraine, I thought that I'd go ahead and give it a try. Um, I've not done it as an adult. I used to do it when I was little and, you know, just kind of like play around with the stuff. So I am still not very good at it. I haven't practiced it as an adult and I probably should have practiced it before. I was like, let me show the internet how to do this. Um, but this is the egg design that I did today. Um, it's not a difficult <laughs> design. I would like to say that this is very hard to do. Uh, it's not. It's very, very easy to do. It's not easy to do well, I've learned. But um, So if you want to stick around and watch me struggle through making this pisanka, we're going to make some Ukrainian Easter eggs. And if you are looking for places to donate, I'm going to have a link in the description for uh, places that you can donate to the Ukraine right now. So let's go, uh, let's go work on some Easter eggs. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do to make these eggs is you have to have just the egg shell. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but that's what we do. So this is a little tool that I'm not even sure what it's called, but it pokes a hole in the egg shell. And there's my egg, and then I have my little I don't know what that's called either, but it's a like a little bellows thing that I'm going to use to get the yolk and the whites out of the egg. So I'm just going to very carefully stick this pointy little thing onto the end of the egg and just kind of make a little back and forth screwing kind of motion. And it pops the little hole into the end of the egg so that we are able to get the insides out. Let's just flip her over, do it on the other side. Try to make it as symmetrical as you can because you don't want to have holes all over the egg, but just poke that through there, taking our time so we don't shatter it, and good to go. So now we've got a hole on that end, and a hole on that end right there. Go ahead and make sure that it's fully clear, and I'm going to take this little guy and stick the needle inside and start to pump, and you can see the whites and stuff already starting to come out. And this actually takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and speed you up here and just uh, show you the finished empty eggshell. So I've got my eggshell empty and letting it dry. So here is the actual kit that I ordered to do this. This is the same kit that my mom ordered a million years ago and I'll have it linked in the description if you wanna get one for yourself. But it's got some instructions with a couple of designs and it's got the history of the pisanki, um, a pisanka, pisanki is the plural. Um, there's the design that I'm gonna do is on the bottom down there because it looks like the easiest and as you will very easily tell I am not good at this so there's some very very complicated designs uh, that my mom has actually done before and she's very good at it I'll show a picture uh, in a little bit of some of the ones that my mom has done but here's the rest of the kit it's got the dyes over there on the side comes with several colors there's the beeswax that you're going to use and these are called kitska they are the little funnels that you're going to scoop the wax into and they have three different sizes there's a small medium and a large just the size of the hole that the wax is going to come out of so fine detail work versus bigger spots so to make the dye is the first step and we're going to just get a cup and a quarter of water here and then we're going to get that to boiling and i am a lazy american and don't use a kettle so microwave it is got that water boiling and we're going to put that into these little mason jars we like to use mason jars just because they are easy to seal back up so that you can keep the dye because the dye does last for a few months. So if you are planning on making lots of these or if you are going to do some now and do some later, just put it in a container that you can seal up and store. But they, it does need to be deep enough to hold all of the liquid plus the eggs once you put them in. So I'm going to just drop the powder of the dye in there and then all of the colors except for orange require a tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. I could not tell you why the orange says not to use it, but the orange says not to use it. And I realize that that looks like I am definitely putting it into orange dye. This is yellow, I swear. The orange will be the next one that I do. But just adding our hot water to that. 
I'm just going to give that a mix and we're going to let that come to room temperature and I'm going to get the rest of the colors going as well. We are going to use yellow, orange, green, red, and black. Those are the colors that I get mixed up here. I actually ended up not using the green. I just used the yellow, the orange, the red, and the black. Also, shout out to Ajax back there being my very bestest helper. He was very interested to see what was going on and we are very lucky that he didn't actually pull all of these off on the floor because it was a real possibility at a couple of points. Okay, so now that the dye is all mixed up, I actually left this to sit overnight to come fully to room temperature so that we didn't have any issues. But I'm going to just, with a pencil, lightly sketch on there, like very, very lightly, and no erasing because that will make the color not stick. Um, just very, very lightly get some guidelines drawn on here, and then we can actually start applying the wax once we have the very, very basic design sketched onto the egg. So it's time to start applying the wax. I'm just going to pick out one of the Kitska. I'm going to use the medium one, and you can see there's a little funnel at the top there. Just gonna be able to scoop a little bit of the beeswax into there, and I do that by heating this over the candle, and then scooping some wax, and then warming it up. Scooping some wax, warming it up, back and forth, drawing on the egg. It's It flows out better than you think it does. Um, so sometimes I had some, some blotches on there and you'll see that in the final egg. There's some blotchy spots where the color was not what it was supposed to be. But the general idea, and then I swear I will stop talking through this entire thing, is to put wax where you want it to stay the color that the egg currently is. So right now I am covering anything that I want to stay white. So that's going to be the main lines on the egg and then everything else is going to be a different color. So just covering things that I want to be white and then we are going to dunk it into the yellow dye. I will cover the things that I want to stay yellow. I will dunk it in the orange dye. Cover the things that I want to stay orange. Go into red. Cover the things that you want to stay red. And then go into black. And then we will be able to wipe all of the wax off and see our finished pisanka. Once you take it out of your final color, which is in our case black, you will be able to kind of see the design through there, but you're going to want to go ahead and melt all of that wax off. So just hold it over a candle and as the wax starts to melt, just use a soft tissue and wipe it off. Um, don't use the same tissue like for a very long time because the wax will just smear all over it. So keep some fresh <laughs> tissues around uh, and just wipe all of that wax off and you're starting to reveal your design. That's pretty much all we're going to do here is just finish wiping all of that wax off and then see our final result and there she is she's neither beauty nor grace but you know what i made that and let me just for reference show you the ones that my mom made yeah those are a lot better aren't they sure are
but it was fun. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle through that. Um, if you have ever made one of these, let me know down below. Have you ever tried this? Um, do you have a favorite type of Easter egg that you like to decorate? Do you prefer to do the shrink wrap ones? Do you hard boil them? Do you like plastic ones? Tie-dye? How do you decorate your Easter eggs? Let me know. Um, and happy Easter for those of you who celebrate, and happy weekend for those of you who don't. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be back with more Disney content sometime soon. But that's it for today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.